this video, you will understand the basic sales process in Salesforce and what the opportunity object is. Hello and ways in touch. My name is Artemi and I am Forex Certified Admin at Enway. We help businesses overcome challenges using Salesforce. Ready, steady, go! In Salesforce, an opportunity is a potential sale or deal. It represents a potential revenue generating event such as a sale to a customer. So, it includes some particular details like the potential amount of the sale, the stage it's in, and the probability of closing. Opportunities are super important because they help track potential sales from the first hello to sealing the deal. They are forming your sales pipeline as well. You can use the Kanban list display for a clear view. These stages along the way, like prospecting, where you are just getting to know the potential sale, all the way to close one when you are successfully made the sale, create the basic sales process in Salesforce. Visualizing the process in Salesforce helps sales team spot any slowdowns, decide which deals to focus on first, and predict the revenue accurately. So, how to manage opportunities in Salesforce? The sales process in Salesforce involves several key steps. First of all, in Salesforce you can automatically create an opportunity when converting a lead. Discover more about leads in our previous video. The second way to create an opportunity is to edit manually in the Opportunity tab. After that, you need to input all relevant details about the opportunity, such as the lead source, amount and stage. This also includes linking specific products to the opportunity and generating quotes to formalize the offer to the lead. Then, regularly update the opportunity stage as it progresses through the sales process. This helps in accurate forecasting and decision-making. Additionally, it's important to track activities related to each opportunity, such as calls, emails and meetings, to ensure effective follow-up. Opportunities usually come through various stages within the sales pipeline in Salesforce, each representing a phase in the sales process. These stages typically include prospecting, qualification, needs analysis, value proposition, ID decision maker, reception analysis, proposal and quote, negotiation and review, closed one or closed lost. All the stages are customizable and can be edited to reflect your own business needs. Now, let's create a new opportunity and follow it through the entire sales process. Let's start with the creation of our new opportunity. First of all, we type the opportunity name. Usually it consists of the company name and the quantity of products in this particular deal. Then we choose the matching account, the type of opportunity and the lead source. Then we type the potential revenue for this deal. Choose the close date and uh, pick the opportunity stage. Here select the initial stage, prospecting. As you see, the probability of closing appears automatically. We can also add additional info about the order list. Click Save. Here is our new freshly created opportunity. Now let's move it through all opportunity stages. The first stage is prospecting. This is the initial stage where a lead is identified as potential opportunity. It involves gathering information, qualifying the lead, and determining if there is a real chance for a sale. Then we move to the qualification stage. In this stage, the opportunity is further assessed to ensure it aligns with the company's offerings and target market. Qualification involves verifying the prospect's needs, budget, and timeline. In the needs analysis stage, the sales team dives deeper into understanding the prospect's requirements. They explore the challenges the prospect faces and how the product or service can address those needs effectively. The value proposition stage is about explaining why our product or service is special. You focus on how it helps the customer and why it's better than other options. In the ID decision maker stage, the sales manager identifies and engages with the key decision makers within the prospect organization who have the authority to approve and sign off on the deal. The perception analysis stage is about understanding what the customer thinks about your product, service and company. It helps you know how to address any worries they might have. In proposal and quote, once the needs are identified, the sales team presents a proposal or quote outlining the solutions they can offer. 
This stage involves discussions on pricing, terms and any customizations. Negotiation and review may be necessary to finalize the terms of the deal. This stage involves addressing any concerns the prospect raises and reaching mutually agreeable terms. Finally, the opportunity reaches its conclusion. If the deal is successfully closed, it's marked as closed one, indicating a successful sale. If the deal is unsuccessful or lost to a competitor, it's marked as closed lost. This stage provides valuable insights for future analysis and improvement. And here our sales process is successfully finished. Well, I hope my video clarified the sales process and the opportunity object in Salesforce. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you need some help with Salesforce configuration, contact Anway. You will find the link below. Till the next video, bye bye!